Yo, what's up guys, uh, welcome back. National season is almost over, the World Championship will be held within the next few weeks, so it's that time of the year again. No clue when we can expect a list, but the most logical seems after Worlds, so somewhere half of August. Both the North American World Championship qualifier and the European one will be important uh, tells for Konami to make their list, like always, right? But Worlds might also be important, although it always um, has a separate Worlds ban list, which as you know is a combination of both the TCG and the OCG list. But anyway, the cards might get hit in some form. I think we are all fed up with the current format. People are sick of Monarchs, Cosmos, BA, uh, Phantom Knights, Pendulums, etc, etc. Including myself. I'll definitely welcome a fresh breeze within the form of a new ban list that hits the current top decks and uh, of course after a new few uh, card releases uh, we can slowly grow into a new uh, format and of course with the new decks and archetypes that are currently dominating in the OCG so Blue Eyes, ABC in October probably, Metal Foes and maybe DDD but um, no clue when we are getting these OCG exclusive DDD cards um, and yeah of course uh, the new edit at least to to the old decks like BA, Monarchs, Cosmos, but hopefully much weaker versions as we know them now. Alright, before I start, like always, I know these banlist topics uh, are heavily discussed and calling people idiots because they have another opinion is something I occasionally see popping up in these kind of videos, so guys, keep it clean. As follows, um, the list of cards that might get hit in some form taken into account that Konami doesn't only make these ban lists uh, to have the most healthy meta game as possible, but we all know it's it's most because um, of the card and set releases, like you know new booster packs with new archetypes and which cards of the current card pool support these new archetypes and these cards might not get hit because of that. And uh, of course sales, the megatins are coming up for example reprints of big cash cards, uh, Strike, uh, Solemn Strike still has um, its reprint uh, waiting for example, so I think uh, these are all important notes to take when we see at the, these possible yeah, ban list uh, speculation uh, videos. Anyway, let's start with the cards that might get banned. I have three cards noted here as possible candidates and two of them I personally like to see going out of the competitive format. The first one here I think it's no surprise, Monkey Board a one card scale and it's also banned in the OCG format because of most obvious reasons, so I don't think I need to explain why Monkey Board uh, should and could get banned soon. Another pick, uh, not my personal pick, but I won't be surprised if Konami hits the also splashable Brilliant Fusion engine. A uh, downside to this is that you're hitting uh, the deck where it intentionally was created for, um, yeah, of course Gem Knights. Because one of its most important cards, uh, or yeah, cards is used in other tier 1 decks that heavily, heavily abuse it. Um, that's definitely true, but to minimize the hit, Konami can follow the construct, you know, should all construct, hit and trend, and hit the fusion, Seraphinite, uh, a double summon. Yeah, a double normal summon, a free level 5 like free tribute father, Tzolkin access in a few decks, free synchro father and much more of course. For me that seems the most logical approach, but again if Konami hits Brilliant Fusion itself, not banned, but to one, I won't be surprised as well. The last card here on the list is my personal second card that I definitely want to see hit 2-1 if not banned. And that's card of the mice. Uh, on the side, um, yeah on one side I brought, at least it brought non-competitive decks like Glees, uh, Gravekeepers, uh, Counter Fairies back to big events, uh, tournaments, so a reason to keep the mice at 3 in your metagame is that it supports road decks, you know, Glee, Gravekeepers and so on. Although I, I, I do see a problem in the fact that full tier 1 decks, prime example here, Cosmos, are also meaning 3 copies of, yeah, copies of this powerful and generic draw card. In defense of the mice um, is the fact that, uh, is the mice really the problem? Or are the enormous amount of traps and floodgates you draw into with the mice, are they the problem? Well. Yeah indeed, that's also something we can endlessly debate on, but bringing back Heavy Storm or Hobby's Feather Duster to combat that, I don't think that's the solution. Last reason, the fact that we are getting Cupidity, or yeah, Pot of Desires here as well, more generic draw cards and the fact that Upstart Goblin is limited and Chicken Game is banned, I can't believe 
Card of the Mice, at least Konami will leave Card of the Mice untouched. Anywho, the limited cards. Uh, the first deck here is Burning Abyss and Variants. Top pick for everyone, including myself, is Dante, of course. Other but weaker possibilities are maybe Beatrice, Sir, maybe. Uh, Lost is also um, debated Teratop. But um, yeah, BA has been with us for a very long time, so I think we all can somewhat expect a Dante hit and maybe even more. Next we have Pendulums. Following the OCG trend of hitting Monkey Board, Pendulum Saucer uh, Wizard has a high chance to uh, be put to one simply because it's an insane searcher for the deck and easily fills your extra deck with the destroyed Pendulum monsters and of course for much more reasons. Then we have Cosmos. <laughs> Cosmos is also a deck that dodged the previous list due to the gold series and they didn't want to hurt sales, right? But now a few months later the Cosmo cards have been sold, um, so now we can somewhat expect that they won't dodge the, this list for a second time. Dark Destroyer 2-1 is definitely my top pick here. A small hit on teleport wouldn't come as a surprise hitting Din can? I don't think this is needed. Their powerful field spell on the other hand, Cosmoton, uh, also might get touched. But priority card number one here to get hit is Dark Destroyer. And other hits are definitely welcome. Because let's face it, there are a lot of new archetypes that are coming out. And if people have no reason to drop the Cosmo card, the Cosmo deck as their best pick for uh, an important tournament. People simply won't bother with the new uh, quote unquote new but weaker archetypes uh, coming out like Blue Eyes, um, Metal Foes and so on. Last, for the limited section we have the, I think the most hated deck of the format and that's Monarchs and all variants. They also dodged the previous list but no way they will dodge it this time. Mort's logical hit is of course Pantheism, the Destiny Draw and the Searcher. Other cards that first of all... Um, uh, is domain like what happened in the OCG domain to one but uh, I won't be surprised if Konami TCG will take a different approach and leave domain at 3 but hit Stormfort to 2 or maybe even 1. I think the last one here so hitting Stormfort and Pantheism is a little more likely just because it's such an incredible card. Well Stormfort is like instant removal, monster removal, it doesn't target, quick play during your opponent's turn and so on. And then, yeah, to end the list here, a uh, few other cards uh, to do. I have two cards. First of all, Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike might follow the trend of Solemn Warning, so it might be put to two. But again, I won't be surprised if Solemn Strike will get untouched during the upcoming format, since you know it's still, it's, it's probably going to reprint it. Megatins, you know it needs to sell. As a promo card, you never know. And last, for the, the, the semi-limited section, is uh, Compuls. Compuls might come uh, back to 2. It's at 3, I believe, in the OCG, so I, I don't see any reason uh, to leave Compuls at 1. The cards that might come back to 3, I have 3 cards here. Uh, Thousand Times Restrict. The card came off of the list and isn't really doing anything, even with Instant Fusion. Um, I think it's fine to just put Restrict back to 3. Dragon's Ravine as well. The rulers are dead for a couple of formats. And Blue Eyes is coming out really soon for us. At least, yeah, it's, it's out for now. But um, a Ravine like Turboish engine for Blue Eyes uh, with Arc Brave and so on might be a possible. So Ravine back to 3 seems okay. And last is Book of Moon, a card that's, that I've been putting on my list for years now. I, I, I don't see any reason reason to leave Book of Moon at 1. We also have Book of Eclipse, um, which is like a, a quote unquote bigger Book of Moon. Right. And then, to end the list here, uh, 4 honorable mentions. Uh, first, there's like always one card that's coming off of the list and uh, a card that, that's up for debate, but I, I don't think it should come back. Um, but a lot of people are saying it it, it it has to come back. It might come back due to Metal Foes and its popularity in the OCG in Metal Foes and other few decks. Um, Stein, Cyberstein. At the cost of 5k you can summon those big uh, threats like um, the Lost Warrior from another planet. But uh, most of all, uh, most important of all is Naturiac Stereo. Um, okay, we do have hand traps now in the form of Valor, Maxi, uh, Ghost Reaper, um, as well as Ghost Ogre, but 
uh, even though I, I'm, I'm personally not a huge fan of bringing back uh, Cyberstein. Then, uh, another honorable mention, and I was very close to put it to actually put it on the list since uh, the Magic Spectre engine is uh, is get, is gaining more popularity here in the TCG and uh, has already been dominating in the OCG. And um, yeah, Raccoon, Bombunku, and uh, Kirin, the Unicorn. Um, the Unicorn might seem a possible candidate to get some form of hit, but I don't think it will get hit on uh, at least for our, yeah for our up coming uh, TCG list in uh, July or August. Um, the, the mandatory Stratos uh, mention, no, Konami TCG still hates Stratos, it's definitely not coming back. And last but not least we have Norden, um, currently at 1 F and if I'm not mistaken banned in the OCG. They also like put Instant Fusion to 1 but eventually banned Norden and put Instant Fusion back to 3. Norden, in today's format Norden is not really a problem but uh, yeah, it's definitely a card that, that might might get banned uh, during one of the upcoming formats. But for now, I think uh, Northern at, at 1 is, is just fine. Okay, guys, feel free to leave your opinions about this list or your own list uh, down below. Um, thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.